Lecture 4. Role of Microorganisms in Biogeochemical Cycles Biogeochemical Cycles Recycling of inorganic matter between living organisms and their non-living environment. Microorganisms have vital part at interconverting oxidized versions of molecules with reduced ones. Microbes play a central role in biogeochemical cycles such as carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur cycle. Learning Objectives 1. Understand the role of microorganisms in biogeochemical cycles. 2. Describe the carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur cycle. 3. Discuss the processes which involves microorganisms in recycling nutrients. Carbon Cycle Carbon exists in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Carbon is part of the molecular makeup of all living organisms. Carbon is exchanged between heterotrophs and autotrophs primarily by way of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a fully oxidized version of carbon that serves as the basic building block that autotrophs use to build multi-carbon, high-energy organic molecules, such as glucose. Overall, there is a constant exchange of carbon dioxide between the autotrophs, which use the carbon dioxide for fixation, and heterotrophs, which produce carbon dioxide as a result of respiration or fermentation. Cyanobacteria Blue-green algae. Photosynthetic microorganisms obtain carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis, carbon fixation. Cyanobacteria carry out photosynthesis using the green chlorophylla pigment and bluish pigment phycocyanin. During photosynthesis, light energy is used to convert carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into glucose and water into oxygen. Photosynthesis reaction carbon dioxide plus water plus light energy equals carbohydrates plus oxygen. Aerobic respiration is the release of energy from glucose and carbon is exhaled back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Aerobic respiration reaction carbohydrates plus oxygen equals carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Carbon present in the tissues of plants is then utilized by herbivores or decomposed into the soil once it dies by bacteria and fungi. Heterocyst specialized cells used in nitrogen fixation. Akinets cells used for survival withstand extreme environmental conditions and reproduction germination. Aerotopes used for buoyancy to reach optimum water column where sunlight and nutrients are available. Methanotrophs Bacteria and archaea that use methane as their carbon source are called methanotrophs. Reduced one carbon compounds like methane accumulate in certain anaerobic environments when carbon dioxide is used as a terminal electron acceptor in anaerobic respiration by archaea called methanogens Methanus arsena. Methane accumulation due to methanogenesis occurs in both natural and aerobic soil and aquatic environments. Methane accumulation also occurs as a result of animal husbandry because methanogens are members of the normal microbiota of ruminants. Environmental methane accumulation due to methanogenesis is of consequence because it is a strong greenhouse gas and methanotrophs help to reduce atmospheric methane levels. Nitrogen cycle Atmosphere contains 78% nitrogen gas. Many biological macromolecules, including proteins and nucleic acids, contain nitrogen, however, Getting nitrogen into living organisms is difficult. Plants and phytoplanktons cannot assimilate nitrogen from the atmosphere. Prokaryotes play essential roles in the nitrogen cycle, transforming nitrogen between various forms for their own needs, 
benefiting other organisms indirectly. Nitrogen fixation. The process in which bacteria converts atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia that can be easily incorporated into biological macromolecules. Nitrogen fixing bacteria, Rhizobium, endosymbiotic bacteria, Ozetobacter, free living cyanobacteria. Enzyme, nitrogenase, catalyze reduction of nitrogen gas into ammonia produced by cyanobacteria and rhizobacteria. Yield, ammonia. Rhizobium. Fix atmospheric nitrogen and live symbiotically in the root nodules of legumes such as beans, peanuts, peas, alfalfa. Provides organic nitrogen. Receives fixed carbon as sugar in exchange. The nitrogen that enters living systems by nitrogen fixation is eventually converted from organic nitrogen back into nitrogen gas by microbes through three steps aminification, nitrification, and denitrification. Aminification. The first step converts nitrogenous waste from living animals or from the remains of dead organisms into ammonia. Aminifying bacteria, Bacillus, Clostridium, Pseudomonas, Streptomyces. Enzymes. Nitrite reductus, catalyze reduction of nitrite to ammonia. Urease, catalyze oxidation of urea into ammonia. Yield, ammonia and ammonium. Ammonia is stored in the soil in the form of ammonium ions. Nitrification. Ammonia and ammonium is then oxidized to nitrite, then nitrite to nitrate. Nitrifying bacteria. Nitrosomonas, chemoautotroph, converts ammonia and ammonium into nitrites. Nitrobacter, chemoautotroph, converts nitrites into nitrates. Enzymes. Ammonia monooxygenase, integral membrane proteins, catalyze oxidation of ammonia and ammonium into hydroxylamine. Hydroxylamine oxidoreductus, converts hydroxylamine to nitrites. Nitrite oxidoreductus, enzyme bound to inner cytoplasmic surface, catalyze reduction of nitrite to nitrates. Yield nitrates. Assimilation. Plants take up ammonium and nitrates through their root hairs and will be used to build its biomass that will be later consumed by primary consumers, herbivores. Denitrification. Last step, use nitrate as a terminal electron acceptor in anaerobic respiration, converting it into nitrogen gas that re-enters the atmosphere. Denitrifying bacteria, Pseudomonas clostridium, converts nitrate back into nitrogen gas. Enzymes. Nitrate reductus, membrane-bound enzyme, catalyze reduction of nitrate to nitrite. Nitrite reductus, catalyze reduction of nitrite to nitric oxide. Nitrous oxide reductus, Final step, paraplasmic enzyme, catalyze reduction of nitric oxide, back into nitrogen gas. Yield, nitrogen gas. Nitrogen cycle in marine environments. A similar process occurs in the marine nitrogen cycle, where these three processes are performed by marine bacteria and archaea. Cyanobacteria in aquatic ecosystems fix inorganic nitrogen, from nitrogen gas into ammonia that can be easily incorporated into biological macromolecules. Nitrogen fixing cyanobacterium, trichotismium, planktonic filamentous marine cyanobacterium. Human activity releases nitrogen into the environment by the use of artificial fertilizers that contain nitrogen and phosphorus compounds, which are then washed into lakes, rivers, and streams by surface runoff. A major effect from fertilizer runoff is saltwater and freshwater eutrophication in which nutrient runoff causes the overgrowth and subsequent death of aquatic algae making water sources 
anaerobic and inhospitable for the survival of aquatic organisms. Sulfur cycle. Sulfur is an essential element for the macromolecules of living organisms. As part of the amino acids, cysteine and methionine, it is involved in the formation of proteins. Sulfates are taken up by plants and microbes. When organisms die, some sulfur is released by decomposition. Other natural sources of sulfur include volcanic eruptions, mineral pyrite, and weathering of crust. Steps in Sulfur Cycle Decomposition of Organic Compounds During decomposition of dead organisms, bacteria and fungi remove sulfur groups from amino acids producing hydrogen sulfide. Oxidation of hydrogen sulfide to elemental sulfur. Hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to elemental sulfur by bacteria. Photolithotrophs and aerobic. Purple sulfur bacteria, chromosome. Green sulfur bacteria, chlorobium. Enzyme, membrane-bound, quinoneoxidoreductase. Oxidation of elemental sulfur into sulfates. Elemental sulfur present in the soil cannot be utilized directly by plants. It is converted into sulfates. Chemolithoautotrophs aerobic. Bagja to a theobacillus. Enzyme membrane-bound sulfide oxidoreductase. Reduction of sulfates. Sulfates are reduced to hydrogen sulfide by sulfate-reducing bacteria. Chemolithoanerotrophs. Desulfovibrio, desulfuromonas, desulfidomiculum, desulfobacter. Enzyme, membrane-bound, sulfite reductus. Bacteria involved in sulfur cycle.